1. Install crankshaft assembly. 1. When installing a new cylinder liner, it is also necessary to use a special tool to press in the cylinder liner. 2. Apply clean lubricant to valve tappets. When installing the tappet, make sure it is jolted at an angle of 45-60 a degree at the mounting hole. In the state of slow decline, do not allow the phenomenon of blocking. 3. Install camshaft. Make sure the surface is clean and scratch-free before installation, and apply clean lubricating oil. 4. Install the main shaft tile on the original mounting hole of the crankshaft. Ensure that the surface of mounting hole and bearing bush is clean and free of foreign matter before installation. Apply cleaning lubricating oil to the inner surface of bearing bush. Install crankshaft. Apply cleaning oil to crankshaft spindle neck. 5. Install the upper half of the thrust plate. Be careful to turn one side of oil proof towards the crankshaft side. Install spindle tile cover. Install the bearing bush and turn in place. When locking tile cover, tighten the intermediate tile cover first. Symmetrical and uniformly at different times. Tighten one by one from the middle to the outside. Tightening torque of main bearing cap bolt, 137.2-156.8 Nm. After the crankshaft is installed check the axial clearance of crankshaft. Notice, one when installing the crankshaft, if there is no lifting equipment, Two people should work together to put the crankshaft horizontally to the installation position. To install the thrust plate with the oil slot facing the crankshaft. 3. When installing the tile cover, the positioning slot of the tile cover shall be on the same side as the positioning slot of the original mounting hole of the crankshaft. 4. After fastening a pair of screws. The crankshaft should be rotated by hand to check whether the rotation is flexible, which is conducive to the timely detection of possible problems in the assembly. 5. Push the crankshaft to one end. The dial indicator of the shaft end is zero, and then push the crankshaft to the other end. The data is measured. The axial clearance is specified as 0.05 to 0.38 mm. Meanwhile, ensure the crankshaft rotation is flexible without blocking phenomenon. 2. Install the piston connecting rod assembly. There are three piston ring grooves on the piston surface. Install the oil ring. First install the spring in the oil ring into the ring groove. Install oil ring in place with special tool. The opening position of the oil ring shall be 180 degree wrong with the spring interface of the oil ring during installation. Install the second piston ring. The marked side faces towards the top of the piston. Install the first piston ring. The marked side faces towards the top of the piston. Install the piston connecting rod assembly. Load the spring into the side of the piston pinhole with a spring clamp. When connecting rod is installed, piston top arrow forward. Connecting rod head semicircle notch toward the end of the fuel pump. Connect the piston to the connecting rod by means of a piston pin. Install the spring on the other side to ensure that it is in place. Turn the connecting rod to ensure that the rotation is flexible and no lag phenomenon. Clean cylinder liner and apply clean lubricating oil. Install connecting rod tiles in place. 
When installing, the direction with arrow is toward the front end of the body, fan end. Check that the openings of the three piston rings are 120 a degree apart. Use a special tool to compress the piston ring. Tap the piston connecting rod assembly. Ensure connecting rods are installed in place. Note that the positioning slot of the connecting rod tile is installed on the same side as the positioning slot of the connecting rod body. Install connecting rod cover in place. Install connecting rod bolts and tighten it. Tightening torque of connecting rod bolt, 100-120 Nm. Install the remaining link groups in turn. Notice, when the piston surface has three piston ring grooves, two gas rings, one oil ring, the first ring is usually chrome-plated ring. The second ring is usually cast iron ring. To when installing the connecting rod assembly to the engine body, take care to orient the top it towards the front end of the engine while ensuring that the three piston rings are 120 a degree apart from each other. And avoid the piston pin. 3. When installing the piston pin, the piston can be heated to 50 a degree 60 a degree evenly. No flame heating is allowed. At the same time, apply cleaning lubricating oil on the piston pin. For the connecting rod is the same size as the tile and is located on the same side. The tile is not interchangeable. 3. Install timing gear train. 1. Install oil pump assembly. Connect oil pump tubing. 2. Install oil sump. Tighten oil sump bolts. Rotate the machine body assembly. 3. Install flywheel housing. Install flywheel assembly. Tightening torque of flywheel fastening bolt, 98.1-117.6 Nm. 4. Install fuel injection pump and timing gear. Tighten the bolts for the fuel injection pump according to the disassembly mark. Install fuel filter in connection line. 5. According to the mark between the teeth of timing gear, install timing gear in turn. Check and confirm timing gear installation. Install the jet tubing connection. 6. Install timing gear chamber cover. 7. Install crankshaft pulley. Bolt torque, 130-150 Nm. 4. Install the cylinder head assembly. 1. Check and replace the valve oil seals. Install valve oil seal. Install valve oil seal in place using tooling. 2. Install the lower seat, inner spring and outer spring of the valve spring in turn. Install valve spring seat. Use special tooling to install airlock clamp. 3. Install new cylinder gaskets. 4. Lift the cylinder head assembly for two or more people. 5. Put the cylinder head bolts in place and tighten them in the prescribed order. Tightening torque, 117.6-137.2 Nm. 6. Install valve tappet. Install fuel injector assembly at the same time. 7. Install valve rocker arm assembly. Install and tighten each bolt. 8. Install the thermostat and its upper cover. 9. Install the high pressure tubing unit. 
Install injector return tubing unit and turn. 10. Install water pump components and fan belt hub. 11. Install generator, belt finally and tighten. Notice, one when installing the valve guide tube, the end of the valve guide tube shall be daubed with cleanness lubricating oil. If appropriate equipment is not available, the tool can be loaded with a hammer by striking along the axial direction of the catheter. 2. When installing the valve double springs, the spring space at the inner and outer springs is closer to the cylinder head. Do not install wrong. 3. When installing airlock clamps, use appropriate tools for installation. Improper operation may harm the operator. 4. When installing the cylinder head pad, pay attention to the direction, both the TOP mark side upward, and according to the direction specified by the mark. 5. The cylinder body is pre-installed with two locating pins. If the cylinder head assembly is not installed with lifting equipment, two people need to work together to lift it up and put it in place smoothly to avoid injury to the operator. 5. Engine Valve Clearance Adjustment Method Find the 1-2-3-4 cylinder. The first cylinder piston is at the fan end of the engine. 2. Find the top dead center of cylinder 1. Turn the flywheel assembly counterclockwise. Observe the intake exhaust valve of cylinder 4. When the fourth cylinder inlet valve just moving to open, and the exhaust valve just moving to close, it means that the first cylinder at the nearly top of compression. 3. Adjust corresponding valves according to the order in the red box on the chart. Loosen all valve adjusting screws. Use a thick gauge to insert between the inlet valve and the valve rocker arm. Inlet valve adjustment clearance, 0.35 mm. Adjustment clearance of exhaust valve, 0.45 mm. Turn and tighten the adjusting screw. Tighten the screw and lock the nut. Adjust the intake and exhaust valves respectively as indicated in the red frame. 4. After adjusting the first screw, marks are made on the flywheel and flywheel housing. Turn the flywheel 360 degrees counterclockwise to the marked position. Adjust the valves in the order indicated by the red box on the chart. Adjust other valves as previously required. After the adjustment, check the adjustment according to the valve clearance requirements. 5. After the adjustment, install the cylinder head cover. Conclusion 1. There are several methods for determining the top dead center of the first cylinder, and this video only introduces one. 2. Different engines have different inlet and exhaust valve clearances. This video takes Zinchai 498 as an example. For other types of engines, refer to the corresponding operating instructions. 3. Valve adjustment is divided into two batches, which are adjusted in strict accordance with the video requirements. 4. After the adjustment, check the valve clearance to see if it reaches the standard.